Hey guys, uh, today I'm showing you some photos of uh, stamps that my students made last Saturday. I'm currently doing a collage class called Lush Layers and our first class was about uh, doing these foam stamps and carving into rubber and we really didn't get around to making anything with our stamps but we had a great play date and they have definitely got their mind around how to create stamps. <laughs> So anyway, I think they all did a great job. So next Saturday, we're gonna work on working with stencils. Now you can purchase really nice stencils online to work with either acrylic paint or uh, spray paint. I'm gonna teach them both methods and you can get fun, you know, little plexi, well not plexi, but it's like an acrylic um, die cut stencil and I have several of those for people to play with but I'm also going to introduce them to um, household objects how you can um, anything basically with a holy texture that you might have can be a stamp and so I have a few of those to show you this is just this is the thing that cupcakes come in <laughs> somebody brought some little um, bunt cakes to class and I anything to, anytime I see something with a hole in it um, or a repetitive hole, I'm like, that could be a stencil. Uh, this is a plate holder, and this is one of my all-time favorite stencils. This is a plate holder for outdoor barbecues and stuff, and they come like six to a set. Um, and this is, I haven't done anything with this yet, but you can kind of see how the radiating pattern can be a lot of fun. So I'll be showing them both. Um, both types of stencils from the fancy ones you buy to the things you find laying around the house and that's going to be Saturday. Uh, later this week I will probably do a video of using some of these and some artwork uh, and send that to them and post it here so you guys can see what that's going to be about. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good beginning to your week and I'll talk to you tomorrow.